hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be talking about uh, how to make a homemade hand sanitizer um, before we get started can you please subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel like comment share videos you can share uh, old videos and you can still share these new videos and i believe that um that will encourage me and it will help me go a long way on this channel please subscribe to my channel so why am i talking about homemade and sanitizer as i was preparing for the course of the week for myself for my family i checked the bags of my children and i discovered that there are not enough hand sanitizer to last us for the week so and with this season of coronavirus that is going on and they said there is no cure yet but prevention it's better than to be safe is better than to be sorry so we all need to still keep applying the preventions and one of the preventions that they talk more about is that is about washing hands washing hands wash your hands make sure that you don't touch your hands with your you don't touch your eyes with your hands you don't touch your face or your mouth or your hair with your hands keep washing 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 hands but in some situation we may find ourselves that we are in a place where we cannot wash hands immediately like i ride train to work so uh, if i'm on the train because we know on the train so when you are sitting or you may i may touch a uh, part of the train that is not safe for me so i need to quickly rub my hand sanitizer that's the reason why i carry my hand sanitizer about and like i told my children that in school make sure you wash your hands but if you're in a place where you cannot wash your hands grab your hand sanitizer rub it on your hand make sure you have your hand rub all the time with the hand sanitizer so i went out i went out to cvs to go get some but i discovered that i got there cvs has run out of hand sanitizer I went to Costco. Costco has run out of hand sanitizer. So what do I do? We still need to keep preventing ourselves, me and my family. And I encourage you, my viewers, my subscribers, to keep uh, preventing uh, yourself from coronavirus. So I was digging. I started searching. I went to uh, w, uh, WHO, World Health Organization, to see if I can find a formula to use to make homemade hand sanitizer. Yay! I found something. So I found something and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. I found something on the website of WHO, World Health Organization. So what I find here states that uh, we use a uh, one cup of alcohol and this is my alcohol. The alcohol specified on the WHO is either you use 91% or you use 70%. I'm having 70% here because that's the only one that I can find at CVS and I grab that. So I'm using 70% uh, alcohol. So, and the, the measurement is one cup, one cup alcohol. Then we are asked to use one tablespoon, one tablespoon hydrogen peroxide, one tablespoon hydrogen peroxide. This is my hydrogen peroxide here, one tablespoon. When you put one cup of alcohol in a jar, this is my jar that I'm using. Put it in a jar. You had one, one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. And this is the teaspoon. You will use the two teaspoon. One teaspoon of 100% glycerin. This is my 100% glycerin. Then in addition to that, I'm asked to use a one cup of water in addition to one third of one third cup of water so i'm pouring this one cup and one third of water into my jar so starting now i'm going to be pouring um one cup of alcohol followed by one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide followed by Followed by my water. I will add my water. This is one cup and one third cup. In addition to the, the alcohol and the hydrogen peroxide. Then I will put uh, my tablespoon, my teaspoon 
sorry, teaspoon, teaspoon glycerin into it. And um, so I have that in my jar already. I have that in my jar. And this is my hydrogen peroxide. I'm putting in there. My water. And I'm using the one third measurement. My glycerin. So I'm going to be having them together here. Yeah. Okay. Here is the jar, the cover. Shaking it together. Shaking it together. So after that, I'll put it in another jar. it here so this is my hand sanitizer so the measurement is for one handful one handful one handful rub it till it's dry in the hand it works this is it. This is my homemade hand sanitizer. Homemade hand sanitizer. This is it. So, beloved, there are some warnings that the uh, World Health Organization stated on their website. And uh, they said, if when you want to make it, you have to wear your goggle to cover your eyes. Because I'm not wearing goggle, that's the reason why I kept the glass, the jar, very far away from me on my right hand side very far it's very far as i was pouring the content liquid content i was putting it far away from my eyes far away from my nose so that i cannot inhale it this is my jar i put it on the left on the right side of me here very far away from me and um, this is the hand sanitizer so um, i have smaller bottles for the children, I'll be splitting it in the smaller bottles and putting it in their bag. This is all made as sanitizer. And it's actually, it, it works. It works. It cleans the hand like a regular hand sanitizer. We can continue to manage this till we get the, uh, or the, uh, man, the manufacturing uh, uh, hand sanitizer from the store, Costco, CVS, Sam's or any pharmaceutical uh, store around us. So we can continue to use this. And um, the other additional one is that is, uh, uh, that is uh, stated on the WHO uh, website is that we keep it out of 
the reach of children where they cannot swallow it, where they cannot swallow the alcohol, the hydrogen, the hydrogen peroxide. Though hydrogen peroxide, you can use it to gargle if you have a small cut or something in the mouth, but still, it's not something that anyone will want to swallow or drink. So we are asked to make sure that we keep them alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, uh, far away, far away from the reach of the children where they cannot grab them and swallow them. And additionally, this content, alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, they are flammable items. And we are asked to make sure that we keep them away, far away from heat or from where they can catch fire. So, and um, they, they, they make sure that, uh, we are advised to make sure that uh, whenever we produce war, uh, the, the, the hand sanitizer, we make sure that we label them, uh, the batch number and the, the label, the, the batch number and the date that we actually produce it, see, that, we manage, that we mix it together. So all these are information probably for us to be able to track when we made it to see the efficiency eff effectiveness of it that is it still working or something so my beloveds uh, as you are watching me um as mothers as brothers as sisters um individuals um, we still have something to protect ourselves to prevent ourselves from coronavirus another thing from aside from the um the hand sanitizer is that we are asked to make sure that we are not shaking people at this time we can greet with elbow or we can greet with our feet clap our feet together uh, to make sure that we are not spreading the germs because we don't know who is having it already or who is not so and uh, even some establishment from organization they are already closing so that they make sure that they are safe so I will encourage one of us, and when you are coughing, please, and um, please, and um, please, and um, please, please, let's cover our mouth whenever we are coughing to make sure that we are not spreading germs. Let's cover our mouth. And if you are sitting beside someone that is sneezing and sneezing, yes, we don't need to be rude, but we can first find a way to cover our nose or something, either we bend down or move our head to one corner or something to make sure that we are not catching because since we cannot identify who is already infected and who is not. So at this point, I will say, God will keep us safe, but we have to apply wisdom as well. Everywhere we go, please do not touch your eyes. Do not touch your nose with your hands. Make sure you wash your hand. Keep washing and keep washing. <laughs> God bless us. Please subscribe to this channel like and comment share have a blessed week god bless you and uh, i have a schedule now the schedule i'll be posting my videos on monday around 11 a.m and thursdays around 11 a.m and on sunday at times weekend i may i will be having a video around 11 a.m i will already finish the uh the packaging and everything just to publish in a second around that time on those days please uh subscribe to this channel like i said subscribe like comment it will help this channel to go a long way oh i'm here to motivate you all the time to make sure that you are safe you have good relationship you are bringing the potentials in you out you are fulfilling your purpose you are building wealth so till i come your way on thursday